the Likes Mind Initiative has demanded for accountability and purposeful leadership that will restructure Nigeria's educational system, health sector, and infrastructure. This was made known during the Like Mind Initiative inauguration and gala night held in Abuja as the national chairman LMI Augustine calls on Nigerians to give adequate support to the president Bola Ahmed Tunubu, also applaud the president on removal of first subsidy. And to our leaders, I want to use this medium to remind you. This is not going to be business as usual. Um, gone are the days where Nigerians are going to be taken for granted. This time around, we are going to demand from our leaders Definitely. serious effort on their part. We are going to be demanding for accountability. We are going to be demanding for purposeful leadership. That the day of hypocrisy is no more. Our group is not a hypocritical group. We are Nigerians. We are of the APC. We want to see progress on all board or across all board. We want to see the university system reformed. We want to see our educational sector totally reformed, the health sector. We know it's not going to be easy, but we trust the, the, the president and his vice that they will do just that for us. I want to enjoin all Nigerians that we should keep to faith with this administration. Um, it's just a new one, but it's, it's better we, we have a leader that is honest and sincere with us than have leaders who have always used this tool of the seat uh, to blindfold us uh, into believing what is not. Uh, just a day after the enthronement of our new uh, President of the Federal Republic, we noticed some development across the country, especially um, in the area of uh, petroleum uh, subsidy removal. Um, to be honest with you, uh, the first subsidy remover is done in the best interest of the people of this country and for us to enjoy the real dividend of democracy uh, through using the proceeds of money put in, uh, in the subsidy to other sector of development so that our people can actually enjoy the real dividend of democracy and then for our economy of Nigeria and that of its uh, citizen. Calling on Nigeria to support it so that we can free uh, Nigeria from the looming economic crisis. But we, uh, like my initiative, want to appeal to Nigeria that we should support the present government uh, into making sure this subsidy that some other people have used to enrich themselves uh, becomes a thing of the, thing of the past. Uh, the subsidy is actually favoring some people. Yeah. If you look at it critically, uh, what exactly have we gained from the subsidy? If we use four trillion naira to service uh, something that goes into the pocket of the rich, and then uh, whereas the poor, uh, whose subsidies are actually meant for, cannot even enjoy it. So I want to appeal to us as Nigerians that as hard as it may be, uh, this day we know it will surely come. I remember the president himself you know, made mention of this throughout his campaign. Meanwhile, the national media director, Elim Hai Maria Alashayinde, urges the president to appoint 50% of women in his administration, claiming that majority of the vote came from women. No women, no nation, that's the truth. So we know him as a father, and one who was born from a market woman, your lodger. I know that it takes women seriously. So we're imploring him that we want him to go above the 35%. We are asking for 50%. We don't have more women in the elected positions. So where it's going to make up is when it comes to the appointed positions. So we want more women in specific areas. They shouldn't push us back. We want to be in the major areas. They should give us 50% appointing positions for women. That's what we are asking for. Because no woman, no nation. However, member of LMI advises the Labour Party and People Democratic Party to abandon their elephant project and work hand in hand with the new administration. So I will advise PDP and uh, Labour Party to please see reason with Nigerians. Don't drag this case too much. Actually, I think um, it's something that you just forget about. Forget and prepare for the next four years. Monitor as you are do, criticize him constructively. Wherever he made me say, then you capitalize on it. By 2027, you can come up with a new program that is better than as you program. I'm sure Nigerians will follow you if you come up with a better program. At Baba today, GTV Africa.